Hi guys, welcome to Freedom and Surrender. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel. My name is Sarai Guerrero. And today I wanted to show you guys some cute things that I've received and um, been able to get for my little girl. We are still picking out a name. We're not quite sure yet. But I wanted to show you some of the clothes that I already have for her and kind of like how we're preparing to receive her here at our little tiny home if you want to call it. It is, a, it is a studio. So we are here um, in the city of Riverside and we are so happy to be here with our future baby. So this is one of the little things that I've gotten from Jordan, my husband. It's so cute. He was thinking of our baby, keeping her in mind. It was during Christmas time, as you can tell little hat and we weren't so sure if it was gonna be a boy or a girl during this time um it was still too early to know because i was just a couple weeks back then so yep there's that one and then this little one right here was given to us by riverside live services as well with the book i'll show you guys that one at the end um and then they gave us a little scrubbing sponge which is not hard at all usually these are hard and can scratch but it's very soft so i really love that the blankets as well were giving given to us by them this one was really cute i love that it's a star and so i was like it's perfect because it has like some girl color purple in there and i love blue and yellow are like gender neutral colors so it's really pretty in the camera in the video you can't really tell but um, I know it looks more blue in the video but it is does have enough of purples and whites and yellows so it kind of balances out everything else and um, this is a little dress that my sister had given me she went to somebody that was giving free clothes and the lady was so sweet to provide these clothes for free this is a blanket as well from riverside live services still debating gonna ask jordan what he thinks should we keep it should we not I'm not quite sure i guess i feel like during that time i did kind of wonder if it might be a boy but most of my pregnancy felt like it would be a girl so definitely excited about that and Here's a cute little dress that was part of the free clothes that my sister got me. It's super cute. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It has the long sleeves. So I really love that. Um, here are some, what are these called? Um, swaddle sacks. And my mother-in-law gave me two of these. They actually came in from my nephew my sister-in-law's baby um he's so cute his name is ezra and he used to use these but i think he grew out pretty fast out of them so i have two of those and then i have this little cute onesie i don't know i really like that i thought it would be really nice to have her wear it and then this one for winter super cute it's a set it looks like a bear and then this one these are the pants cute little pants have little pockets right there oh it's one pocket really cute and then we have this little onesie and it is a pajama onesie and i love the polka dots if you don't know me yet, I'm into polka dots, 1950s, 60s stuff. Definitely something amazing when it comes to that. Um, just the fashion, everything in general. For me, mostly. Um, at Riverside Live Services, we found some of this clothes. I really like this. This was cute. It looks like a little Winnie the Pooh. It's not Disney, but... I really liked it. I'm like, it's perfect for summer. So, and this one is 
12 months so she won't be wearing it till then some of this clothes i'm going to be putting away just because she won't be using at this time um but definitely be washing all of that this is a cover for the car seat or you could use it to cover yourself with when you have nothing else for breastfeeding if you hear something in the background it is very windy today my door is slamming the fence door is closing in and out if it gets too much i'm gonna probably lock it in but i've been washing clothes today so that's why um it keeps doing that so sorry about that and then there's this cute little romper kind of onesie if you want to call it it's super cute i love the style i've always wanted one of these for my little girl and in this one six to nine months i will be keeping this and what i will be using just because my sister told me that babies grow so fast don't even think about you know you're gonna be using everything i might not even be able to use everything that i have here we found this dress as well at riverside live services i love the old-fashioned style that's another thing i'm very antique very old-fashioned in the heart or soul however you want to call it then i have this little kangaroo onesie um th this is actually from the free clothes my sister got me um as well as all these other outfits that are going to be coming out this is another onesie it looks kind of more for boy but i guess you could use for girl if you put on a little bow this one looks more for girl i thought that was really cute i really love that style then there's this onesie uh oh actually it's a dress oh no i'm wrong again it's a romper <laughs> it's a romper it's cute a uh, hot pink I'm not used to like a bright pink, that's what it is. I'm like, I don't know, it's closer to a highlight pink. And this one's cute, it's a little mouse. I have another onesie of a newborn that has, I think, a little mouse on it. So I really love that. World's best snuggler. It's gonna be amazing snuggling with baby. Here's another one of those kind of romper style outfit so definitely excited here's another one i believe i really love these because they're perfect for summer and if she's gonna grow definitely gonna fit in these i love how the quality of this clothes it was taking real good care of so this baby didn't bomb too many diapers at least you can't tell see I mean, yellow wouldn't really make sense to show you because they <laughs> bond their diapers and their <laughs> diapers come out that color. Um, this one's nine months right here, so I'm probably putting this one away. I don't know. I'm debating. I think I'll put it away. And there are a couple cute little things, like this is a shirt. Um that you would wear with leggings. The baby would wear with them. I guess she might have paired them with these because it is flowery, really cute. There are the whale or shark. It's a shark. I just never, I'm not used to seeing sharks that happy if it is a shark and it doesn't even have like sharp teeth. So cute. Um. Here is another shirt. I really love this because it's a dinosaur. You don't really see girly stuff with dinosaurs. And I think it's going to be awesome because she's going to be a cool girl cousin because of boy cousins. Really love dinosaurs. So it's perfect. There's this design. I think they, these were okay. I mean, they match almost the purple on my shirt like... If I had some leggings with this to match my purple shirt, <laughs> you can pair it. It's not the exact color, but you would pair it. And then there's this little fox long sleeve shirt. There are, there's this long romper, really cute. I love that. And we're getting to the bottom of all these. There's this plaid onesie. 
then this little very patterned design is gonna look like a carpet baby <laughs> i don't know it reminded me of a carpet <laughs> i was just thinking to myself bloom wild really cute hopefully she's not too wild that would not be good <laughs> you know children they're hyper and then a onesie smile and has rainbows and the last one of this bag is this onesie which has cute little frills on the sides giving it a cute design and that one's from gap six to twelve months probably gonna keep it because my nephew right now is currently in six months so i think i'm gonna probably keep that one just in case and the rest i'll be putting away boxes bags since our place is very small we're actually looking to move to a bigger place but we've been praying about it so we still haven't found the correct place but that's our goal and yeah this has been mostly mostly all the clothes because there's more in another bag but and in a drawer but i didn't want to like take super long on this i know one last thing i forgot to share with you is this boppy pillow i got it in gray from a yard sale here from our neighbors or actually our landlords they sell stuff on saturdays and this was one of the things that i found that would be very useful for me um i use it for a time for under my or in the middle of my legs since it's hard carrying this belly around and it really helped me sleep better, helped me have a better quality of sleep, basically not tossing and turning as much. But now that my belly got even bigger, my sister gave me her boppy. I keep calling it a boppy. It's not a boppy though. It's a pregnancy pillow. And that one's been helping me so much more than just a little piece of cushiony pillow. And this is going to be perfect for feeding the baby, breastfeeding, bottle feeding, whatever feeding, it's going to be amazing. So this has been mostly all my baby clothes, little baby stuff. I'm probably going to do a part two. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but I know that I still want to show you guys the baby swing a little bit more, maybe focus on number two being the stuff that we're getting. For her that she'll be actually sitting in and um yeah i'll probably be doing a number two for that definitely i'm so excited for our journey together freedom and surrender for everyone watching this it has been such a blessing baby and i welcome you to this channel we cannot wait for you to come become we cannot wait for you to become part of our Freedom and Surrender family. Um, if you like this video, like it, put a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. And also share this video. It will help us out a lot during this time. And we want to be able to reach more people out there and let them know that through Jesus, there is freedom. So when you surrender it all, you find that freedom that you need. I want you guys to know as well that you are very loved and I hope that you have a wonderful day, night, wherever you guys may be. God bless you.